I bought my eight-year-old a phone. Are you dying? You need to go outside, people. You need to get some fresh air. The worst thing about my phone is I just feel like I'm not progressing in life. Hey guys, welcome back to Anna Nelson. Good morning. Good morning. Today is gonna be a fun day for the kids. A bunch of them are going to get new phones. They're kind of waiting in there, like wondering what we're gonna film today. Kind of getting excited, but they are going to be like excited. <laughs> All right, guys, are you ready to start filming? I'm not ready. Yeah. Wait, what are you doing here, no, Trey? I got these onions out. They thought I tooted or something. That is the weirdest breakfast sandwich I've ever seen. It looks so good. It really does. So you're wondering what today's video is? Yeah! Are you ready to hear? Yes. Today, we are all going to get new phones! I am not joking. I am being for real. You're going to get a new iPhone 15. You're going to get a new iPhone 15. And any of you who have like the upgrade are gonna get a new iPhone 15. Some of the older kids are gonna pass down their phones to some of the younger kids, but everybody is gonna have a phone line. You're yeah. all Are you dying? Okay, guys, let me get into this really stuff. Excited. Every road trip, everyone's like, no, I'm not sharing my Wi Fi. Or I'm not oh, sharing my Wi Fi. Yeah. My and I'm always like, give me your hotspot. Or else I have to play like, <laughs> give me your hotspot. I literally have to play like this game the whole ride. And I'm all like, right, I'm all gonna right. Play that. All right, I think we have some excited children. All right, let's load up. Here we go. Like I told you, Guys, be I've been really excited for today's video. I've literally been begging my mom to get a new phone because I can't find my phone again. Yeah, no, she lost her phone like a year ago, and none of them have ever had like phone lines to be honest, and so. But I'm changing some things up and I'll explain to you guys why. Guys, I've been actually needing a new phone lately. Nice. If you didn't see the condition of it, I mm. should What's say. Sadie's is really bad. It's broken. It doesn't look I broke bad. it in my camera. Get a new phone. I'm getting a new phone. Hello there, legally blonde. I am legally blonde. And you are in trouble about that. <laughs> Goodbye to this. Yeah. Sunny day, sunny day, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but I get away. Feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me, cause I'm gonna be on break. Sunny day, sunny day, make way. All the stress and doubt, yeah, not today. Feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't call me, cause I'm gonna be on break. Got the tropic on a fresh car, sushi on a platter, brandy, honey, it don't matter, shots. Till I try, try, gonna be 24 7, golden hour like a boss. And they say, yo, guess you gotta do a clock. Mom, I want this for Christmas so I can throw it in my golf cart. Ooh, nice. The next day. All right, guys, it is the next day. I have gotten all the kids' phones set up. That took some time, I must say. And you're probably wondering, like, why on earth would you buy your four-year-old an iPhone, any of those things? I'll explain as I go through the kids. We're first going to start with Lily. Of course she needs to have a phone, right? She is, like, a huge help for my family. She helps me make dinner. She helps run and grab kids. Like, it's so nice having drivers in the home besides me and Benji. And she has been amazing at helping our family. So, of course, she needs a phone to be able to communicate. So, we're going to go find out what kind of phone she has and also what is her favorite app. So, let's go see. We're here to see your phone. All right, first of all, what kind of phone do you have, Lily? I have a purple iPhone 14 Pro Max. And I'm gonna get a new phone because my phone's not quite ready for an upgrade, and I've only had it for like five months. 
So yeah, like, it's an amazing and thing. I like it. So it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, don't get caught in the trap of like the new 15 valves that you have to get. But yeah. A lot of the kids decided to get it, but most of them were ready for an upgrade, so mm -hmm. that's why. But. Yes. And what is your favorite app? My favorite app is probably Instagram. How often do you go on AP? Every day. So when we set up Lily's phone, she's almost an adult, guys, and so she kind of sets up her phone herself. I don't really put a ton of like parameters on it, screen time, but when you do go in there, do you put a restriction on like as far yes. as limit adult websites, you can do that and just that kind of stuff. I know you do that. What else? Do you give yourself any kind of like limits as far as time you can spend on your phone? I do, but sometimes like, especially on the weekends, I go over. You ignore Cause them. like, <laughs> it's the weekend. I have nothing to do, so <laughs> might as well. Or like if I'm already done with everything, might as well just go on. Might as well. Like, so what it, what is the limit you give yourself? Like an hour. You give yourself an hour of like social media. And my TikTok and everything else already has like a screen, like screen Limit. time. Like yeah. you have to enter in this thing in order yeah. to go back on it. I so. think an hour is a good healthy limit. Sometimes you go around the weekends, but for the most part, you stick around less than an hour. Yep. Smart. Good job. All right, let's see if everyone else makes as good choices <laughs> as you. All right, next we have Presley. Presley! What's up? So, oh, I'm. Nothing really. Presley is a little bit stoked because she has not had a phone that actually had a phone number ever, ever in her life. So she has her very first phone number. Not a hand-me-down, a iPhone 15. I got a pink phone. Mm -hmm. My screensaver looks like this. It was my first sunset picture ever on this phone. So she chose this clear case that's square. Oh. And then I got it like an OctoBuddy, which is kind of weird. Then one of these OctoBuddy things that, like you can, you know, make stick. it so you can stick your phone so you can I do love, your little dances. Like and like this. It's like this, like it sticks on the back like this, see? Like I'm, not, I'm not touching it. Yeah. So she got one of those so that she can do her little get ready with me's and her little cover stars and all that. Right here I have all the important apps, um, very important apps, especially the Sephora because this, <laughs> you didn't know, is my favorite app in the world. You don't say. This so, is the funny thing. This is why this is her favorite app. What did Cassidy do to make this your favorite app? She filmed a video where, what happened? Um, She bought me my Sephora cart. I'm sorry, what? The whole Sephora cart, people. And but there was some I didn't have that much there. stuff in it. No. Like, not being spoiled, but like. Dude, there was hundreds of dollars in there. Yeah, but like. She's wishing more. like she would have had thousands in there. You think Cassidy yes. would have bought you thousands? Yeah. You never know. Never know. She bought know. Paisley thousands. Can you tell them like what we did to make your phone more safe? So I had to, it shuts off at 9.30 to 10, mm -hmm. somewhere around that. And then in the morning it goes on at six o'clock. And then we did also like how long can you be on different apps and things on your phone? I said a time limit. Do you know I don't what know. that time limit is? No. I did an hour and a half to two hours. I think I did two hours on the weekends because she uses her phone. What? She uses her um, phone for two hours on the weekends because sometimes she actually watches a movie on there, so we had to put it for two hours. I don't know, I just don't want them to get on their phone too much, and so I think two hours is fair. If it ends up going to like three hours maybe, but I think if it gets anything over three you hours. You should get five hours. Yeah, yeah right. right. Yeah. You need At to least. go outside, people. You need to get some fresh air. Stop yeah, I can go. I can go outside with my phone. Oh. Is. You need to look and appreciate the world around you. And I can do that on here. here. It's, it's called YouTube. <laughs> it's pictures of the world around you. It's not the actual world, child. All right, good job. Thanks. All right, guys, I am with Elsie. Elsie has two phones. This is her old phone, but it has not had a phone number. And so, guys, she has this phone. And it I has a phone numbers. number. Look how cute she is. I love it. All right, so Elsie, what kind of phone did you choose? A 14 Pro Max. She wanted all of these cameras because they could go really far and really in, but the 15 Pro Max was a little too pricey to give a 10 year old, I'll be honest. So, what is your favorite app? This is my favorite app called CoverStar because it's like a little kid version of TikTok just for little kids. I have really researched and looked into CoverStar and I love them so much that I actually am going to be a part owner in CoverStar because they are amazing. So not enough Nelsons is gonna partly own Cover start. I know, it's crazy exciting. So all of the kids are gonna what? start their own cover star accounts. And what is so cool about the accounts is they are monitored closely for no bullying. Maybe. 
there will be absolutely no bullying and there's not instant messaging so you don't have to worry about your kids getting in touch with somebody else. It's just super well made and it's made for Guys, kids under 13. Cool. If you say something in me in the comments then you um don't get a download Coke Star ever, ever, ever. Exactly. Ever. It will ban the people yep. who make mean comments. So it makes it so there's no more bullying, which yep. I think that's so cool. Then the kids can just have fun and they can film these really cute little videos of them dancing and it just makes it so they're not gonna be bullied about what they do. So you guys should download Cover Star. Yeah, for sure. Great app. So all of the kids that are younger than 13, I am only gonna let them have Cover Star on their actual phone so that I know that they're not gonna get bullied and they're not gonna be watching things that are just not meant to be watched at any age. Some of the stuff on TikTok, but yeah. for sure under 13, not meant to watch. So yeah, I love it. It's your favorite. This is the day I got my braces on. So cute. But my mom didn't want me to show my braces. She had to wait for the big reveal, people. But what's also fun about this is that it's so brand new that you can become famous on Cover Star pretty dang fast. Right? Yeah, let's see how much followers I already have. 1,541. Really? That's impressive. You're gaining fans super fast. Yeah. So jump on the cover star, ask your mom and dad if you can download it. Wait, 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 what's your favorite app? Ah, wait, let me guess, is it Lulu and then? No, close. It's from Lulu. What, el what else would you guess my favorite app might be? American Express. <laughs> <laughs> That's my least favorite app, because that tells me how much I spent. <laughs> Dad, that, if you're watching this, watch. Okay. Yeah, no, no, Dad doesn't. Dad, okay, let's stop it. Okay. Anyway, my favorite app is Free People. Oh yeah, Free People. I wouldn't advise you to actually download I love that app free because people. I have spent ten times the money on Free People than I would have without the app. So what? maybe don't download. Look at your whole face right. from your Lulu. I know, it's I know. Perfect. I love Lulu too. All right, on to the next child. Thanks. Let's go. Coming. Yeah. Whoa, 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 what you got all that money there for? I will, actually you guys have to jump over to NetFam to watch that, and so do you mom. Wait, it's for your secret room? You're gonna like do some fun stuff in your secret room? Yeah, something like that. Mm. Cool, all right. If you guys haven't seen that video, it's super cute. Jump over to NetFam to watch it. Okay, talking about your phone now. I decided to keep my phone. I have the 14 Pro Max. It wasn't quite ready for an upgrade yeah. yet, and so she decided to keep it. And then my favorite app, guys, no one really knows about this app. I found this app like when I was scrolling through the app store and it's called Go Wish. Go and Wish. I have my whole, like like everything I want from a Christmas on here. So say I wanted these shoes, which I do. So you click on it and then it has the price and the name of the shoe and then you just press visit store and look, it literally takes you to the shoe. What the That's so heck? easy for you. That's my new favorite app. <laughs> That's gonna make it so much easier. Do you guys have any idea how hard it is to buy 16 kids Christmas? You know, and they just give you these like random lists. It's like the Nike shoes that are cream with whatever, then you're like looking all over the place for the Nike shoes. And you can't shoe find that's them. cream with it, yeah. It makes everyone happy. <laughs> I love that. Go and sponsor me. <laughs> all right, good job. Delaney! Yes? Hi! All right, I'm here to show our audience your phone and your phone case and your favorite app. I got an iPhone 15. Ah, and it's it is a blue colorway so and it's pretty. so cute, guys. It really is. Look how close to this back. Isn't that so cute? At first when I got it out, we thought there was like paper or something because it's kind I of know. this white blue color and it's like matte. Super cute. I got this Nike case. So she ordered also after we saw how cute that phone is, she ordered a clear one too. So mm -hmm. she's gonna have two cases. This one's kind of nice for if she did, is doing sports because it's really cushiony. See how those go clear out like that? There's a great big cushion on the back if you do drop it because a lot of my kids have broken the backs of their phones, oddly enough. And so that will protect it when she's busy at school and stuff. But for yes. fun, she got the clear one so you can see how pretty it is. My favorite app is Brow Stars, of course, guys. Brow Stars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, it's just a fun game, guys. Okay, so on Brawl Stars, can people play with you? Yes. Yes, but what's really important is on the settings, you can make it so that you can't join with people that are not in your contact list. So that's what I've done on all of the gameplay. If you go on the Apple, all of the settings, you can find where you can limit the people that they gameplay with, which I think is important because I really wouldn't want Delaney playing with a stranger because yes. they could pretend like they were like a 13 year old girl or guy or whatever, but they could actually be like someone who's not safe, yes. right? And so it's super important that we keep the kids safe on their phones. And so we make sure that they don't 
they're not able to just play with anybody on their phone. And that's also a rule at our house too, which Delaney knows that if someone approaches her in a game or ever tries to like message her, that we don't really message them back to yes. because that's not safe. Mm -hmm. And in fact, if they message you, um, you should probably come to me and yes. tell me like, I don't know who this is that's messaging me, mom, and make sure that it's a safe person, right? Yes. Yes. Also, we, like Paisley and Delaney is the same, we have set like time, right? Mm -hmm. We have like where it shuts off. What time does your phone shut off at night? 9.30. 9.30, goes back on at 6 a.m. And yeah, so that you yes. can get ready in the morning and have your music and all that <laughs> fun stuff. Yes. Also an app limit. So with these guys, I put usually, like I said, about two hours is their usual app limit. They mm -hmm. can ask for more and I need to fix Elsa's though. Did you know that she can just approve it herself? Yes, I saw that this morning. She was out of music and I was like, don't you only have five minutes or something? Yeah, it's kind of tricky to set up all these phones. I was setting these up for hours last night because it's super important to me that they're not on them all the time. They don't go on apps that aren't good for them and things. And so I have a lot of parameters, but obviously I missed something with Elsie's because she can just approve her own stuff herself on her yes. phone, which is like good. So we'll fix that. Mm -hmm. But Delaney, I'm really proud of you. Delaney makes really good decisions on her phone because sometimes kids can get tricked and Delaney doesn't get tricked. Delaney brings it to me and says, hey mom, someone's trying to message me. Is this okay? And I love that about Delaney. All right, you're awesome. Are you excited about your new phone? Yes. I love it. Okay, next kiddo. All right guys, I was on my way to find Sadie and guess what? Here she is. Hi there. I got candy corn necklaces. They're actually called candy canes. Did you know that? We candy corn. <laughs> oh, candy corns are for Halloween. Yeah. Candy canes for Christmas. Yeah, it's candy. Okay. All right, so first. Ah! Sorry, I'm excited for <laughs> Guys, no, honestly, I was super excited because I've been waiting for like ever and I didn't want to bug my mom about it. So, this is my new phone. Cute. This is, this is the new. <laughs> so you guys, I'm so excited. So first of all, let's show the actual phone. Okay, okay. It's an iPhone 15 Plus. Plus. It has the two dual camera, you know, matte back, and then shiny on the rim. And then we got the phone case. The screensaver yes. matches the back of the phone. This is the phone case that goes with it that I picked out. That's it's cute. just little ballets for once. Love it. And then, look how cute her screen is back there. Got some expensive Dior. Dior, Dior. Cassidy's been turning me into a little bit of a girly girl. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's all so, Cassidy's fault. Anyways, what else, what else do What's we need to know? What's your favorite app? This is actually pretty hard to choose, but I have to say this motivation app, it's like the best app I've ever owned. It gives you daily What's motivation it? quotes. What's it called? It's called motivation. Motivation. <laughs> it's called motivation and it has like it's almost like a social media app, but it just gives you quotes. I am not what happened to me. I am what I choose to become. Be patient, good things will come. Much like your iPhone 15 Plus, the yes. same patient for. We got that one, and then we also got a daily affirmation one. I'm not perfect, but that's okay. And that's okay. I'm confident things are working out, even if I'm struggling right now. I also have this other app that's my favorite, and it is Gospel Library app. And it actually has like all the scriptures, all the, like the Bible, versus profit talks. This one also can give you verses of the day and scriptures of the day. Yeah, and you can set it for what time that comes up. So like yes. first thing when you wake up, it can pop up and then is that's it? the first thing you read. The worst thing about my phone is absolutely nothing, you guys. Because my new phone has everything that I need on it and Woo! it's so smooth and so Woo! clean. And it, I just, guys, my phone is my... She's been patient, guys. She upgraded from like an iPhone, what was it? 11. Like an 11, so she's waited for several years. So patience is a virtue, which is another good quote for the day. Okay, I'm on to the next kid. Gotta grab the candy corn. Oh no. Mr. Luke, may I approach your room? Yes. All right, why do I ask permission for my kids to come in their space? Because it's their space and they need their privacy. So I do ask them before I come in. All right, Mr. Luke, are you ready to show them what phone you chose? Yes. I right, take, take it out of the case because they gotta see All right. this beauty. By the way, look at the merch. He's where my merch? Showcasing the Charlie merch for Maui. Remember, all the proceeds go to Maui, so please, please check it out at notenoughnelsons.com. Yes. Okay. This is the black titanium one. Mm -hmm. This is the phone screen. Cute. And then this is the case that I told Paisley to choose me out one because, you know, I'm not good at picking out cases. And I actually like it because it's just like my other one. Literally just like my other one. It's the exact same brand. But. I love it. Now, show them what your favorite app is. I like TikTok a lot. 
and I kind of scrolled through it. So that's my favorite app on this phone. Is there any way you figured out that the app will not feed you the bad stuff? I mean, because even at 14, yes. 15, 16, you don't need to see that crap, right? So how have you figured that out? If you like a baking video, your whole feed's gonna be baking. Mm -hmm. If you like dancing videos, it's gonna be like that. If it has like funny videos, it's gonna be like that. So technically, it's what you like. Yeah. So, so the you less like. you watch, so if the bad one comes on, you hurry and flip past it, but you they like. Yeah. If you like it, then it's gonna go yeah. on. Yeah, or if you watch it, it'll automatically yeah. think you liked it and it so, will keep sending you that yeah. kind of stuff. So try to always get off. Make sure you talk to your parents about if you see anything super bad, because sometimes super bad things come yeah, out. Yeah, if you see super bad, reset your feed and go tell your parents. Yeah, be like, I saw this on TikTok, it made me feel sick inside and whatever, and help reset your TikTok and it will restart over again. But still, again, cover star for kids, like seriously, the it's a best good, idea. It's really good, guys. Best I idea promise. ever. So the older kids, some of them have TikTok. Luke is a TikTok master, so TikTok is safe. Okay? Yep. Awesome. Oh. Which one are we doing? Turkey! <laughs> okay, guys, I did it. I bought my eight-year-old a phone. I know many of you are out there thinking, why did you buy your eight-year-old a phone? Why would I, why, why? Because, first of all, I didn't buy it per se. It was like hand-me-down of phones because the kids upgrade, right? And so I have a couple phones. And Mr. B likes to go hang out at his friend's house and play with his friends, am I right? <laughs> and he does it a lot. And sometimes I'm like, where's Mr. B? I don't know which house of our neighborhood he's at. This way I can be like, hi, Mr. B. Whose house are you at right now? Right, Kish. Oh, awesome. Can you come home in five minutes for dinner? Yeah. Perfect. Thanks, Mr. B. Love ya. Bye. See what I mean? And it's not much to actually add a line if you already have a plan. For us, it was literally like $15. I want to say the first two lines we added were $15, and then the other two were free. What? No way. What the heck? Why haven't I done this sooner? Would you like to show them your phone? It's pretty cool, people. There is actually literally a game on the back of his phone. How fun is that, that he can play a game on the back of his phone? This picture right here is a picture on Mr. B's and screensaver. How cute is that? Does that not look like you've given Jesus a hug? Yeah, that is. That's pretty cute. All right, show me what your favorite app is on your whole entire phone. Disney! Disney is his favorite app, people! He loves Disney. As you can see by his shirt choice today as well, he is a Disney fan. Yeah. I love it. That's a great app. Disney. Great yeah. entertainment. All right, give me five. Give me five. A real five like you mean it. All right, I'm on to Ledger. All right, Ledger. Holy cow. I mean, this is entertainment, people. It's even more entertaining than this. Can you turn this off just for a minute while we talk about your phone? Perfect. All right, come and show these guys your phone. This is Ledger's phone. Do you remember whose phone that one used to be? Luke's. Lukey's, all right. I, I wanna show him my passcode. Nobody share his passcode, okay? You wanna tell him what it is? Zero, 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 zero. Ledger, what is your favorite app on your phone? You wanna show him what it is? Yeah. YouTube Kids. YouTube Kids. All right, I love YouTube Kids. I can set it up to be geared right between the ages of two and four years old, which how cool is that? So that I know that he's not gonna stumble onto anything that's too old for him. And many of you are probably asking, why did you do that? Here's why. How often do parents end up taking their phone and their kiddo needs some entertainment for a second because you're like waiting for something or you're waiting in line or dodge over us. Anyway, watch my phone and then guess what? I have apps on here that I really don't think are appropriate for a four-year-old, even just normal YouTube. I don't really want him to be able to just jump on. Definitely not TikTok and some of those other things. And I kept finding that that's what was happening with mine and Benji's phones, is our younger kids were getting on our phones and then they were going on apps that aren't really proof for a four-year-old or eight-year-old. I didn't give him a phone number. I don't think there's any need for that quite yet because he doesn't ever leave the house or anything like that like Beckham, but his own entertainment, people, and I have my own phone, and so I don't have to be like, can I use my phone to make a phone call? And have to be like, I'm watching the show, right? You know how it is. If you know, you know. And lastly, I do have to say, with even though I only have YouTube kids on here and like very little things on here for him to do, I would suggest always keeping an eye on what it is because you would not believe how savvy a four-year-old is at finding things and even downloading things on his own. So I try to put all the parameters, but still try to keep an eye on him when he's watching it to make sure I know what he's watching. But I would say that most good parents out there know that that's probably a good idea. All right, on to Navy. All right, 
last but definitely not least at all is Navy. Navy, all right, Navy. Will you show them what your phone is? My phone is the iPhone 14. She wasn't quite ready for an upgrade yet, and people, the iPhone 14 is pretty it's, awesome. Yeah, it's pretty new. Yeah, so yes. you don't need to always upgrade just because there's a new flashy thing out, right? Yeah. So tell us, what is your favorite app on your phone? This is my, um, what is it, like a home screen? Home screen, yeah. background, whatever. Cute. And you have one of those widget thingies that Sadie was telling me about. Oh yes, wait, no, that is actually my, probably the coolest app I have because like, you can edit widgets and like add like pictures and it's really cool. What app is that that allowed you to do that? Widget Smith. Widget Smith. Yes. Way to make it aesthetic. Phone. Yes, very. Widget Smith. <laughs> All right. Are you responsible with your phone? Yes. Do you give yourself your own rules? I do because I, if I'm on it too much, I just feel like I'm not like progressing in life. I suppose that's one way to look at it. <laughs> so some of my kids have like limits set and other kids, like they give themselves their own limits to be honest. In fact, I remember that like Kennedy used to not even text after nine o'clock and that was her own decision. Like some of my kids just really are driven to make really good decisions on their phones. Others need a little bit more structure to it. And Navy's one of those that actually goes over and above what structure I would give her. So I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. So cool. All right. That is the end of the video. Love you all. Bye. Bye.